Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday, April the 7th, and it's beautiful, sunny, and warm. It's about 43 degrees. Today, I'm going to be working mostly with equipment, the tractor. I'm going to be taking off that snowblower right there, and I'm going to be installing the loader back on. But before I take out the snowblower, because as you know, it snows here sometimes in April like it did a couple of days ago, and sometimes even in May. I want to make sure that I have or that my backup is working fine before I take that one out. So let's go check on that. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow we have this solar eclipse thing. It may be cloudy, and yeah, we're gonna see maybe 80% of it here. If I drive an hour and a half north of here, I'll, I'll be able to see total eclipse, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that yet. But anyway, I do have a an Arian snowblower. We're gonna test that now to make sure that it works just in case I need it in the next few weeks. And will it start? We'll find out here in a second. Pump it four or five times. Turn the key on. Gas is on. I think we're good. It hasn't been started in a few months, so it needed an additional few pumps. Now I'm going to go ahead and warm up the tractor too because I'm about to remove that snowblower. Okay, so it's done. It's been removed. Yep, that only took a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes total. I always carry a set of instructions with me. They're on the floor, just in case I ever forget a step. And it happens every now and then, but yeah, it's very quick. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of these things away. I'm gonna leave this here. And in about a month, I'm gonna go ahead and get, do some maintenance on it, grease it and lube some parts and just get it ready for next year all right so everything has been put away now i'm ready for the loader but let me show you something temperatures just went out to 47 heat wave yeah up here mm, anything over 45 is good uh no need for a jacket or, or a coat or anything like that so i just went inside and made myself a cup of coffee I didn't sleep well last night, and that's a common occurrence with me. I haven't slept well in years, maybe. The last time I slept well and I felt refreshed was a couple of decades ago. I know, it's hard to believe. It's been a couple of decades, but when I do sleep seven hours, those are good days, and those are rare. So that's why I drink three or four cups of coffee a day i know i need to cut down a little bit i never drink coffee in the afternoon by the way it's always in the morning because i know if you drink coffee in the afternoon it can it can definitely keep you awake because uh caffeine stays in your blood for i don't know i'm gonna guess eight ten hours maybe i tried a lot of things to improve my sleep but it's kind of like a losing battle and if any of you have had the same problem 
uh, just put it in the comments below. What do you do to sleep uh, good at night? And uh, I just want to say that, I, believe me, I've tried everything. I think I've tried everything. I like to say it's an old age thing, but no, it's been a couple of decades. So it's not old age. It's something else. So hmm. I'll keep plucking at it. All right, let's go and install the loader now. Alright guys, so it's done. The loader is on. But I do have to mention one thing. I always have a problem installing the bucket. You see this pin here? And only this right pin I'm having an issue with. So my issue is that this pin stays above where it's supposed to be by maybe a quarter to a half inch. And I cannot lock. I cannot lock it in place. So... The only way for me to lock it in place is by putting some pressure on this. And believe me, I've tried everything. Sometimes I had to make 10, 12 attempts just to lock it in place. But I just discovered that the only way to put pressure on this so it will go down just enough so I can lock it in place is by sitting on this. I put a towel here, I sit on it, and then I move the lever over towards the right and then it goes down far enough for me to lock it that is weird i haven't seen anyone anywhere on youtube or the internet that has suggested that so i mean it's probably just unique to me the other one's fine the other one always catches 100 percent of the time it's only this side i don't know i don't know what it could be but anyway i think i found a solution i didn't record me sitting on it to put some pressure on it so it'll go down but yeah that would have been something to watch <laughs> you guys know what this means we gotta go cut a tree and we're just a few feet from the house we are here i don't know if you can see that tree right there it fell over the woodpeckers killed it they pecked the heck out of it and it fell over but that's okay because we can use it we can burn it inside the boiler so i'm gonna go up here cut it into small pieces and use the tractor to carry those pieces back to the boiler and hopefully <laughs> start burning it today here it is guys uh yeah this will last me for a couple of days yeah <music> Here it is guys, it feels dry, yep, let's see, yeah, should be okay, should be good enough for me to burn today. This is the top half, or the top quarter, and here is the rest of it, you see that, woodpeckers, they peck the, the heck out of these trees and obviously the tree got weak and it just fell over but that's good enough for me because i can use it i can use it to heat up my house in hot water so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead cut whatever i can load it into the tractor take it up to the house It's dry. All right, looking good. I just have that piece to cut into smaller pieces. And then I'm gonna gather all of these smaller pieces that I've already cut, put them in the tractor. We're gonna go home.
This one is super light and very dry. You can use something like this inside of your raised beds if you use a hookah culture method like I do. But we're gonna throw it in the boiler. It's gonna probably burn in like an hour, maybe less. Whoa. Well, there it is, guys. That's what I was able to cut, and that should last for maybe a day or two. It's 3 p.m., and I haven't checked for eggs yet. Let's go do that now. I have to be careful with my attack rooster right there. I gotta keep them distracted when I go in there with that. Because if not, he'll follow me all over the place and peck me from behind. Oh yeah, he's a sneaky one. Well, here's one. None there. Let's go check the nest boxes. Here's one. I makes two today. Two for the silkies. All right, let's check for the big chickens. All right, we got one, two, four, and six so far i have total eight eggs six standard large eggs and two silkies don't get too close mister I'm watching you all right guys so it's the end of the day and I have a lot of plans uh, for this tractor and with that guys you have a good morning afternoon tonight wherever you are we'll see you manana bye